I bet you don't know how to solve this equation. It is fascinating as we have an exponential function on one side and a linear term on the other. Let us break it down. To solve this, we'll need the Lambert W function, which is defined as the inverse of x times e to the x. That means if we have an equation of the form x times e to the x equals n, then x can be written as w of n. One might question why bringing this is important when we are not getting a numerical answer. Think of it as logarithms. We use logarithms even though we don't get a numerical answer because it makes things easier to handle and makes approximating the solution much more effortless. Okay, now let us try solving our problem. Making use of the inverse relation of e to the x and natural log x. 3 to the x is basically e to the natural log 3 to the x. Dropping the exponent in the logarithm down, you get this. Now, divide the whole equation by the thing that we have on the left-hand side. And we get 1 equals negative x times e to the power x natural log 3. It seems like we are getting somewhere. Just multiply the equation by natural log 3, and there. We have something times e to the something on the right-hand side. Applying the Lambert W function, you get W of natural log 3 equals negative x natural log 3. Now, just multiply the equation by negative 1 over natural log 3, and there you have it. x is negative W of natural log 3 over natural log 3. You can approximate it using the Taylor series of the Lambert W function or a good calculator. It is approximately 0 0.5. 47809. Brilliant, isn't it?